Let's make a roast dinner centerpiece, meat free of course, call it a wellington, call it an en croute, call it whatever you like but either way it is delicious. Served here with some Hasselback potatoes, some soy roasted carrots and a nice gravy, you can't go wrong with that. Start off with one large carrot, chop it up quite finely and get it into some oil in a frying pan just to start cooking and soften. Take a clove of garlic and chop that up quite finely and also the same with an onion, a medium onion, doesn't really matter, red onion, yellow onion. Get that in with the carrots and get it all cooking off for about five minutes until everything becomes a little bit caramelized, translucent and all the flavors have mingled together. In a food processor, you need two large jam jars full of cooked lentils or beans. I have mung beans for this, so two jarfuls cooked. So one jarful of dried beans will give you two jars full of cooked beans. Get your onion and carrot mixture into there and, and half a jar of rolled oats. Add some spices, some black pepper, some salt, some seasoning. I've added also some paprika and I've got a tablespoon of uh, vegan Worcester sauce and a tablespoon of soy sauce. Get that all pulsed down until it's sort of this texture. You don't want it to com be completely smooth or completely processed. You need some texture. The way I test the texture is to pick up a handful. If it holds together, it's good. I've got a round or you can use a rectangle of ready-made puff pastry. Take your uh, your filling mixture and sort of mold it into this shape in the center leaving a little bit of space to the sides so that you can cut in diagonal strips both sides make sure that they're equal and the cuts are mirrored on each side because you're going to form essentially a plat a plat of pastry around the lentil mixture in the middle Snip out a couple of triangles just so that you reduce the amount of excess pastry because that will make the overall sort of feel um, rather doughy and there'll be par parts of pastry that aren't cooked and it won't be so nice. So just fold that lip in and take the strips from either side and alternate them, folding them across the roast so that you have this plat appearance. Take some soy milk and brush that over the top and it'll help it get nice and crisp and golden. Bake it at 200 degrees C in the middle of the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes until it looks like this and serve with your favorite roasty potato and a good rich gravy and it's perfect for Christmas or whenever you fancy. Hope you enjoy it.